Hey, I wanted to come back with another video uh, showing you the monthly view of my composition notebook planner. Uh, again, my my planner is mostly like a bullet journal. I wanted to give you a look at my index page. Here I have my index page and I have here, you know, some of the goals that I have for this year on the index page so I can take a look at that as well. Um, in addition to that, I have a color index on the edge of my pages and typically I use this more than I do the actual index. Um, but, you know, I figure, you know, if I really can't find something, it'd be good to um, have an index as well. Um, I wanted to flip to the current month. I just wanted to give you a... a uh, look to this was my month of January this is the view let me move this camera of the month of January as you can see here um, I didn't cross out these last few days so I just wanted to show you that and um, Basically, I started my month of January actually on the 12th of January. So I wanted to give you a feel for the fact that with this journal, I basically start whenever um, I'm in the actual mood to plan. And if I don't plan, then that's okay. So as you can see here, um, I planned uh, the first, the, the last few weeks, of January and the first week of February and then into February I didn't really plan that much um, but then March started and here I have this is these um, I guess black and white taped pages represent my months and I could show you here like I basically just took some decorative tape I also put um, uh, glued another sheet of paper to uh, this page in the composition notebook and glued in my month and I wanted to show you too that I do do the monthly spread um, that uh, you know is typical of bullet journal bullet journaling um, here I have you know the events that I have scheduled for this month and then I have basically all of the tasks that I want to complete this month you know I have these two um, columns here that you know because I like to pretty much overdo it so I don't know if I'll be able to do all of these things but hopefully if I get through half of them I, I feel really I'd feel really good about that so um, this is the typical monthly spread for uh, bullet journaling and then I have another page here um, that j is just kind of there after the spread um, because of what I do to this page. So what I decided to do with this page is also lay out by week what I want to complete. Um, so basically I have, you know, my goals for March and um, weeks 9 through 12 and the types of things that I want to um, accomplish each of these weeks. And I haven't been doing stellar, but, you know, I still have some time to catch up. Um, so you know, week nine is done, week 10 is almost done in March. So hopefully I'll be able to check some of these things off over the weekend as I accomplish um, some of my uh, goals and tasks. So here is the month of March. Here is the month of March. Let me just adjust this. I wanted to show you the monthly view. So here is my monthly view for March. Um, initially, initially, I when I first started doing this in November, I was doing it with um, this grid paper. I would just glue on some grid paper into my journal, um, and um, I and I liked it. I liked you know being able to highlight you know uh, the things that I'm tracking throughout the month. But in January, I was trying to see if I could just do the least amount 
of stuff. So here I just have the actual page um, from the composition notebook and I just use that to track and I just would, you know, draw, um, highlight, you know, the entire line based off of what I'm tracking. And, you know, it wasn't too bad. You know, like I, I kind of want to give you guys a feel if you want to do something similar, if you want to do a tracking page along with this flip out month, um, that this works out okay. But for me personally, I didn't like the way it looked. You know, I liked, I like the way this looks a lot better. You know, just being able to highlight the little box and see exactly where I'm going. And yeah, I was kind of guesstimating with the other method. So I wanted to show you that. Um, so, you know, another thing that you can do with this flip out month is kind of have your whole um, month together, uh, you know, being able to just kind of use this as like a place marker. So say today's Friday right now, this can be like my place marker in my journal or I could just keep it here and have all the days, um, all the days showing, so that you could see um, the week as well. When you fold these papers over, you could see the week. Um, so here, on the monthly view, I wanted to focus in on the monthly view here and show you that I basically laid out my weeks. Um, vertically, so I have week 9, week 10, week 11, and week 12 of the month of March. And uh, what I like to do is highlight days in the month that something is happening, like an appointment or something that I really need to remember. Maybe a friend's coming over, there's a party. So I did that on this month. So here, uh, you know, I also like to put what we actually ate on um, each certain day. Here um, in this column, I keep the goals that I have written down on this page. The same goals that are on this page, I also write down here so that I can see them um, throughout the days as I'm actually planning. Um, so when I have my planner open to today, I can still see what my goals are for the month, which is great because it keeps me focused throughout the month when I see that I'm not, you know, I don't have a lot of things checked off. You know, it's almost halfway through the month and I only have two things checked off. So, you know, this next week I really should step it up and um, try and get some more of these um, tasks here that I have outlined accomplished. So that's um, pretty much it for this. This is basically a calendar. It's the same as what I have on this page, um, on this page and this page, uh, pretty much. Like here's the calendar laid out. So this is kind of redundant and I've wondered if I should eliminate this, but I do like having um, the monthly spread available so that I can, you know, see what it is that I have that month and write down what the tasks are that I need to do. Um, so if you were doing this and say you don't, you don't really care for the tracking, you can have your month um, kind of like, you know, have this be your, your monthly spread and have um, these two pages be filled with the things that you want to accomplish and then you wouldn't, you, you know, you possibly wouldn't have to put in um, any graph paper or anything like that. I mean, the great thing about this planner is that you can customize it to fit your needs specifically and perfectly, which is what I love about this. I feel like this is better than any planner that I can buy because I can, you know, if I decide that I don't like this setup, you know, tomorrow I can change it, you know, or the next month or the next week I can change it and do something else. So that's what I love about, you know, composition notebooks and just, you know, basically doing things yourself to begin with is you can make it be exactly what you need it to be. 
So um, again, this is just a calendar, uh, pretty much like the monthly spread in the bullet journal. Um, and here I put my tasks. Here I have all of the things that I want to track throughout the month available um, for me to see and you know as I'm doing them I you know I'll highlight them and you know I'll, I'll see you know I haven't been journaling this month I haven't been making sure I've been moisturizing my skin you know this month or moisturizing my hair you know it's really dry where I live right now so um, it's, <laughs> I really have to make sure I do that otherwise you know I start having um, problems with my skin so here um, you know, are all the things that I like to track and, you know, things with my kids and bills, you know, I track my bills here as well. I just highlight um, the item, you know, the bill as it comes. So here I, uh, I don't know if you can see, but I just uh, box in the days that a bill is coming and as it comes I can just take my highlighter and highlight that box when the bill comes out of the account um, so that I make sure that I have enough money in, in the account for those things. So um, that's basically my monthly view, a real close look at my monthly view. Um, you know, again, you could use it the way I'm using it uh, with the monthly tracking or you really could just eliminate um, the need to have an actual bullet journal uh, spread, monthly spread, and make this your new monthly spread and have your tasks, all, your, all the tasks for the month listed here or maybe have your tasks listed here and, you know, maybe do um, even tracking, um, you know, if you flip your journal around this way, you know, you can do your tracking along here and just have all your tasks that you want to accomplish here. So there's basically so many different ways that you can use um, this system, which is why I love this so much. So feel free to ask me any questions. Um, leave me a comment. Um, if, you, if you have any questions on anything specific on the monthly view, and I'll be very happy to answer your questions. Hope you have a great day today. Bye.